So our pediatrician and expert say that ideal time, the ideal time to start sleep training is between four and six months. Mm. We, on the other hand, <laughs> we on the other hand did not. Start we were there. very late. We started Jordan at ten months. Yeah, we started at ten months, and it wasn't because we simply just no, we don't want to do it. Our baby isn't ready. Um, we actually had some challenges with Jordan, and it's so important to know that when your child is sick, you cannot sleep train. Yeah. Um, so when Jordan started daycare, he was at four months old. He was four months old when he started daycare. And as soon as he started daycare, your boy was sick like every month. Yeah. So, you know, we've had challenges with ear infections and things like that, upper respiratory infection and whatnot. And that would delay the process for us when it came to sleep training. Um, so we finally feel like Jordan is at a point where, you know, he still gets sick occasionally, but not as much as he was in the beginning. Right. And we got the clear from his doctor to go ahead and start sleep training. Yeah. So it, with that said, do you want to pick up on how it went or do you want me to kind of go into it a little more? No, I mean, we, I can definitely go into how it okay. went. Um, but I also think we could have started a little bit earlier. But we also, I think we procrastinated a little bit as well. There was definitely some moments or definitely some, some months where he, was, he wasn't he was feeling the best. I he think was, about around month nine, we could have. The only issue we, yeah, we probably could have in month nine. He did get sick in month nine too, but we could have. But I think part of it was on us that we were also like, are we prepared for right. the challenge that is going to come with sleep training? Because yeah. our pediatrician had said, you know, be prepared to not sleep for like a week yeah. um, or like from three for three days to at least a week. And I don't think we were mentally preparing ourselves for that. I was more ready, I think, than you were, though, for sure. I think you were more like, nah, like I, 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 I don't okay. want to he- I don't want to hear him crying like I, and, and being more empathetic to him you know crying it out basically mm-hmm. which is what we're supposed to be doing is just like straight up no contact hope i mean well there are different methods actually there's yeah, different well, the there's different that methods we wanted to do was right. to do the cry it out and right. i think that that was a little bit of an issue for you more so than it was for me i wanted to do it but also i didn't, I didn't think i you didn't seem like you were hundred percent on board with that. So you're right. It's a twofold thing. I felt like I personally wasn't ready to hear him cry it out all night. I felt like I was torturing him or something. I don't know, even though I know that I'm not, and it's teaching him how to learn how to self soothe, which is a very important, um, skill to be able to do. Like he has to learn how to settle himself. And so in the overall picture, I get it. But yes, in the moment, I was also like, okay, this is going to be awful hearing my child cry. And I know that I shouldn't step in because I'm only enabling him and not teaching him how to self-soothe. But on the other hand, I also feel like you weren't prepared either because I don't think you were prepared for the lack of sleep and all of that stuff that you were going to get. And so I feel like you would put it off too because there are times where Jordan would have nights where he's a little fussy and stuff like that. And you were so tired that you're, you know, you run in to find the pacifier or, or, or do whatever. And <laughs> I'm like, you, you don't seem as ready either. So I think it was a twofold thing. It was the both of us. And I think that they always, they usually say, and our pediatrician even said it, a lot of the times it's the parents that are delaying, d- delaying the process than it is the it, kid. And it was. So. It was. I think we definitely could have started earlier. We probably could have. Now, there was. There was. We, I think realistically we could have started around month nine. But with the challenges that he had between him getting sick a lot in the beginning, between that four and six months, <laughs> and also he had the issue with his diet, that we were faced with with the challenge and we could not do sleep training during that time. And she right. absolutely said like, no, you can't do it because we need to know that he's not crying because <laughs> Jeremy just walked into the room uh, on the door. Building a happy home, yeah. building a happy marriage, building a happy family. All of those things take day in and day out work. Like yeah. you said, it's about those routines, it's about those habits and building those healthy habits provides you the responsibility for you to pour into your marriage, to pour into your relationship, and to pour into yourself. 